Hi everyone, welcome to the Lotus Goddess. Um, so for this reading, I'm just going to um, just do like a random reading and see uh, what comes out. Um, there's this topic that just like it keeps coming to my mind, so maybe I'll do that. Um, so just keep in mind that this is a general reading, it's not a private reading. Um, so you'll know whether or not this is for you uh, just take what resonates and we'll begin so the topic that um, that comes to mind is that what is the divine masculine thinking or doing this weekend okay um, yeah it's just such a random topic but that that keeps coming to mind so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> so let's see what is he up to this weekend Divine Masculine. dropped so this divine masculine um this weekend, he's actually having a conversation with somebody regarding the Divine Feminine. Oh, nice. Okay. So you'll know whether or not this um, this is for you. Just take what resonates. But this divine masculine, um, he's having a conversation uh, with a family member, um, and he has uh, told his family member. It I feel it like it's one person. He's told one person about this. It's it's. Um, it's just one conversation and one person. Um, either has happened or is happening, but it's it's this weekend for whoever this resonates for because I pulled it for this weekend. Um, this divine masculine is about to or has or or is about to have this conversation with the family member regarding. Um, how he has separated from somebody and that that separation was something that um, had to happen because of something that he he was um, it was a very um, unhealthy environment okay let's just say that so I'm going to keep that one short um, so he he told his family member that he was in a situation which was unhealthy, like an unhealthy environment with somebody. And he had to cut off that situation because of some, um, um, and also because of something that was exposed to him. Okay. So once that conversation has passed, he, and I feel like he didn't go into details with his family member. He just made it very sweet and short. That's why I feel the need to cut it short because I feel that this Divine Masculine will also cut that conversation short regarding um, this negative situation. It's just, he goes straight to the point. Like, I was with somebody, uh, it didn't work out, it was unhealthy, and I'm no longer with this person. So now this family member knows he had a breakup with somebody, okay? 
then the divine masculine um talks about um his love for the divine feminine we have the twin flame here twin flame charm right here and right above the twin flame charm we have the heart charm okay so he's talking about his love he's revealing um his emotions he's confessing his love um about the divine feminine to this family member okay the divine masculine um he's talking about how he's working very hard now to work towards the divine feminine he wants to um he wants to work out things with the feminine and he wants to restore what was lost okay he wants a he wants a renewal of their relationship and he's talking about um he's talking about all the good things that the divine feminine has done for him and all the good qualities that she has um he's letting this family member know that he that the decisions that he's making now is only going to be for the divine feminine I feel like um I feel like this is a very um a peaceful conversation. It's a very uh loving conversation that the divine masculine is having with this family member. Um he's feeling very um relieved. He's feeling very um I feel like he feels um very um like he feels like he is home like not only because it is his family member but I feel like this acknowledge acknowledging the divine feminine's importance makes him feel like he's he's made it home like spiritually he has made it home The divine masculine is talking about all these um plans and decisions he's going to make going to take um he is planning to uh surprise the divine feminine uh with a gift i see that he is going to um i see that there's different forms of travel here so the divine masculine i feel like he's going to first this is a divine masculine who's at at a distance um either he is like in another country or across the country or he's in another city okay but either way he needs to go he's coming from a distance i see that um he may be taking a flight or he may be taking a long drive the divine masculine um he is really planning uh a lot of things um he's telling this family member um that he's planning something during the holiday time I feel it's around Christmas because um there's a lot of holiday um there's a lot of holiday energy in this reading like there's there's something that has to do with celebration um uh, there's something having to do with gifts uh I see a lot of lights like sparkly lights i feel like this has to do yes this has to do with the holiday season it feels very warm and comforting it feels like that this divine masculine does not want to be without the feminine i feel like this divine masculine already put his vacation time like at work like he took his vacation time he's already planned to take take some time in december off off work 
and he's telling this family member that during the holidays he will he will spend that time with the divine feminine the divine masculine he he may not even tell the divine feminine that he's coming i feel like Either he will surprise her, like it will be a surprise that he just shows up during the holiday season. Or he may tell her right before he comes. But right now, at this moment, it's being, it's being kept secret, like it's being held from the feminine. And in some cases, this divine masculine has not talked to the divine feminine for some time. Like it will just be out of the blue, out of nowhere that he just shows up. Like for example, like say if the divine masculine and feminine haven't talked since like, um, since like February of this year, then all of a sudden he just shows up. Like <laughs> it's just out of nowhere, like out of the blue. This is just showing that there's a connection that's going to happen during the holidays. And it's a lot of celebration. I see uh, gifts, a lot of gifts. I see uh, a lot of surprises. I see um, there's going to be... I feel like you two will be sitting together at the table. Have like, this is a Christmas holiday. I feel like you two will be sitting at the table and you will be, you will be eating together like next to each other. And it will, it will shock you. Like you, you will be sitting down eating and you'll be thinking like, I can't believe he's beside me. I can't believe we're sitting next to each other. <laughs> That's what I feel like the divine feminine is going to be kind of in shock. Like, is this actually happening? Like he's right beside me. <laughs> it, it's going to be, I feel I'm get I'm getting these like mixed emotions. Like the divine feminine feels happy, but at the same time, she's like, is this really happening? Like, it's kind of like shocking. Like, and like to think like eating, eating a meal together, it's such a simple thing, but to do it with your divine counterpart, especially after so many years, it, it's going to feel kind of strange. Like, it's kind of like, is this is this real like is is this really happening to us now um but it it is going to be a nice um a nice gathering like i feel i feel um that the divine masculine when he does spend time with the feminine there will be moments where he 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 is quiet he wants to say things but he doesn't know how to say it like he it's just it's kind of like a like a awkward you'll feel kind of what i'm feeling it's it's kind of like um it's it feels like kind of like a young love like something new like um it feels like like you are meeting for the first time though you know each other you know each other um but because there has been a transformation between the two of you and and you two have tr transformed as a spiritual beings as um stronger individuals when you two reconnect it will feel like everything is for the first time like even just um sitting down on on the um on the like sofa on the couch um when you two have a have a talk i feel like it's going to be um it, it's going to start off slow kind of like in an awkward way but um you guys will you guys will open up and I feel like there's going to be laughter like uh in the beginning it might feel like it's not that you 
it's not that you're doing silent treatment or something. It's just you two. It feels like an awkward shyness kind of thing. Like, what should I say? Like, should should let him speak first or let her speak first? <laughs> it's it's going to feel like a young love, like a young kind of like a you know, like when you like during school days. You know, when you're when you're a teenager, like that young love. It's going to feel like that. Even though you're adults, <laughs> even even if you're adults, it's going to you're gonna when you experience it, you'll know. You'll probably remember me when it happens. <laughs> you'll be like, "Oh, I remember Lotus saying this." Like, <laughs> we're just sitting here and we're just having this awkward moment, <laughs> but it will pass. It, it's just going to be a brief um, phase. But what I'm feeling is that you two are just sitting down and and he's going to be quiet and then you'll be like, so, uh, so how's everything, you know, how's, how's your work, you know, how's things in your life and, you know, what's new and then he'll just start talking about work because there's nothing, nothing else to talk about at that, <laughs> that second and then. And then because you don't want to off the bat start talking about, you know, the past, right? You want to start light with the light conversation. So that's what I feel, something very light. Or you might uh, talk about like mutual friends like, oh, how's your, you know, how's your cousin doing? Or how's your, how's your uncle doing? You know, I heard that, you know, this person has, you know, um, you know, whatever it may be like it's just going to just start off the conversation and then I feel like you two will be just sitting there and then you'll be thinking like okay like it's so quiet now like what do I say like what's what's going on in his mind right it's like this feels so different like <laughs> it's gonna be like this feels so different it feels so like I I feel kind of like nervous and I is he feeling the same way too? Like, you're going to be thinking of all kinds of stuff, but it'll be fine. <laughs> um, other things I'm seeing here is that uh, there might be a moment where he might want to break the ice, meaning that he, he will recognize that, he will notice that, okay, we're not really talking openly right now. Like, I might need to break the ice. So I feel like in front of others, like if you, if you two are in front of, um like family or friends or something like that he might start to uh <laughs> <coughs> sorry <laughs> um i feel like i'm oh i feel like i'm choking <coughs> i got it so the divine masculine what i feel like he is going to try to break the ice he's going to try to um you know maybe say some jokes but he's going to choke <laughs> he's going to like you know try to make it like try to play cool or try to you know get some attention and he'll just like start joking like random jokes and you're gonna be like this is why is he acting weird like if you won't find it funny you'll just find it very odd and so he's going to choke, <laughs> not literally choke, but meaning like his jokes will not go well. Like um, people might not laugh. They might be like, what's he doing? Like, <laughs> but he's actually trying to get the attention of the divine feminine just to break the ice a little bit. But um, just to show his sense of humor. Um, another thing I feel is that. I'm feeling that uh, when you two are together at this get together, whatever it may be, I, I'm, I'm, what I feel it's at somebody's house. It could be at the divine feminine's home. Uh, it could be at a family member's house, something like that during the holidays. But what I feel is that um, when these two are together, uh, the divine feminine might get a phone call like on her cell during that time. And when she steps away from the group to answer this phone call, the divine masculine, he might be like, who, who's calling the divine feminine? He might get a little bit paranoid. I feel like he's, he's going to get worried because he'll be like, 
Why did she step away from the group? Is she talking to somebody? Like, he's going to be a little bit uh, nervous when I feel in some cases the Divine Feminine will get, it will just be a random call. It could be even the Divine Feminine getting a call from her her friend or, or a workmate or something like that. But when he sees the way she reacts on the phone, like she will be probably in good spirits, like happy and smiling and giggling and stuff. And it will make him very paranoid. Like the Divine Masculine will be like, who, who is she talking to? He's going to watch the Divine Feminine from a distance while she is having a, a cell phone conversation with with somebody. It could be a friend even. But it's nothing, right? But just because he is physically there, um, he might get a little bit paranoid um, with her being on the phone. <laughs> it's kind of cute, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting a few downloads when it comes to this get together during the holidays. So this might be for some of you out there. You will know if this resonates with you. Use your intuition. <laughs> um, I, I, I feel that this Divine Masculine, when he... I, I can visualize that he's, he's holding a dessert. It's some kind of holiday dessert. He's taking, he's taking a plate of dessert to the Divine Feminine. <laughs> I know it's something minor, but that's what I got. Um, like I feel like he, he's trying, he's trying to nurture her at that time. Like um, though they're not talking much, but like just to show his, um, just to be kind, you know, um, that he cares. Uh, he's going to be taking a plate of dessert for the divine feminine. Like I see one plate with, like. Some kind of Christmas holiday dessert. And I see him slowly walking with it. <laughs> um, what else? I feel like there's going to be some kind of game. Meaning uh, some kind of... Uh, Game in a good way, okay? Not the, not a player game, okay? <laughs> game in a good way. So some kind of um, activity. You guys will be doing some kind of activity at this get-together. It could be some kind of um, fun game that the family might be doing or um, something that's fun. Uh, it could be like even a board game, but it's some kind of activity where everybody's huddled around, like around a, a big uh, space. Um, it could be like a table or in the, in the family room, something like that. It's just that uh, I see there's some kind of fun activity going on. And then you two will be like, I think that's when you guys break the ice because there's going to be a lot of funny things that are going to happen during that, um, that activity that it's going to open conversation. Like you two are going to be laughing. And I feel like during this um, activity this kind of game you two are on the same team <laughs> so and you guys purposely did that like you you're like we're we're in one team we're gonna be we're gonna be playing on this side and you guys play on that side like you you did it intentionally okay so that you guys can um play play the game together like to you didn't want to um because it's been such a long time that you spend time together you want to spend you want to have fun during the holiday so i feel like you two are like we're gonna be in this team like you and i think that decision uh i feel like the divine masculine is going to step up and say yeah you know she's on my team divine feminine's on my team and we're gonna be playing and you guys can go over there <laughs> yeah um uh, yeah, if you like this kind of readings, let me know. I can get more um, insight on on the actual um, on the actual like gathering and stuff. 
So this is for some of the divine feminines. You'll know if this this is for you. Um, you know your divine masculine, <laughs> right? Um, but this is a divine masculine. In the beginning, he will be kind of awkward and, and a little bit quiet. It's just because he's nervous and he doesn't really know how to um, break the ice, meaning start off the conversation and start anew. But he will make a few attempts during this holiday season to um, make it a very, um, very easy flow, like a lighthearted conversations and humor and yeah it will f it will feel very new and very um, fun and exciting at the same time I feel like there's going to be a few people I what I'm what I'm visualizing is there it's going to be a few people like I pictured them in the kitchen or something and they are kind of like um they are noticing that you two like what's going on between you two and they're just going to in a friendly way they are kind of going to have a, a cute discussion that look at those two you know look how they are acting like that's what i feel like they they're admiring the way you two are um approaching one another they they are noticing these things <laughs> I feel like if they if this is a big get together during the holidays, like a big family get together, there's going to be um different family members in different parts of the of the home, but the divine masculine, divine feminine, they are going to stay with each other. Like they they're going to try to spend as much time as they can. Um and they are going to make their own little like group, like meaning um like a little it's not that they're going to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time because I feel like um, though they want to spend time with each other because it's the, like after so long, it's going to be a little bit of an awkward situation. They feel a little bit more comfortable with having other um, people around and just to have a light com conversation, just to have a little bit fun during the holiday. So it could be like you, Divine Masculine, and maybe two other people and just like hanging out, you know, like and playing playing a board game or something like that. Some something fun. Or it could be even a bigger group of uh, people, but it's some kind of fun activity. Yeah, that's the that's what I'm feeling from this reading. There's just a lot of um, a lot of uh, gathering, like just getting to. It's like getting to know one another again, starting fresh, starting new, um, hanging out with each other, um, enjoying each other's company, spending time with loved ones. Um, this feels like a very warm holiday season. <laughs> yeah, this was a nice reading. So if you like this reading, uh, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching and have a great day, everyone. Bye.